What is up YouTube and welcome to this Peacemaker video. We pick up pretty much where we left off last week, where the group are heading off to take out the cow. Now I really, 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 really like the fact that they opened with I Really Love You by Steel Panther. I absolutely love Steel Panther and I was shocked that they hadn't used it just yet because I can imagine Peacemaker cackling at the lyrics from Steel Panther. Now we learn pretty much why Peacemaker is Peacemaker. After his brother died, he made a vow to kill people only for peace, so no one dies for no reason. And Adebayo makes a desperate call to her mum to call the Justice League, which, yes, we got that at the end, sans Batman. Now, Song and the crew are preparing the cow to be teleported, and we have some really, really cool moments as Peacemaker shows off his cool helmets, we have Scabies for All and Sonic Boom, which are Metallica and Kiss albums respectively. And I love the fact that the anti-gravity helmet flies off. It reminded me of that bit in uh, Family Guy where Peter's hat just flies off and he's like, you owe me one new hat. I absolutely cackled up at that. Now, I really like the fact that Peacemaker also said that they could fly a fishing line over, shoot it over, and Adrian Chase references the Green Arrow when the fishing line is mentioned. Of course, if you've watched Arrow, the CW show, which I absolutely love, uh, Vigilante was on that show. Adrian Chase was a different character, and the Vigilante kind of look and Vigilante personality thing was a different thing. It's a very confusing story there, but you should go and check it out because the guy who played Adrian Chase in that was superb. Peacemaker says that, well, no, it's not like the, the Green Arrow because he grows to brony conventions. And I love that Ekamonos was like, yeah, it's, it's actually real. That does actually happen. He has a butthole open for being Twilight Sparkle. Oh, absolutely gross. And Ekamonos also possibly confirms that, yes, Aquaman does have coitus with fish. But they use Eagly as an idea to get the Sonic Boom helmet to the barn, but, well, he fails, and they have to go and look for the uh, the, the helmet there, which made me laugh. Uh, the, the physical comedy, like the, the actual visual comedy, sorry, is next level here from, from James Gunn. And they go and look for it, as Kimonos and Vigilante argue. I have to say that the guy who played Vigilante has nailed it. Absolutely brilliant. It's come a long way from in between us two. Now, Harkle asks why Adebayo changed her mind. And, well, yes, it's because she thought that it was a sign when <laughs> eagerly hugs Peacemaker. Now, Peacemaker's dad is in his head and will forever be in his head, as we saw at the end of the episode. I did expect that we would get some sort of, like, polka dot man thing where Harcourt says to picture everyone you kill as your dad, which... I thought that that would happen, and, well, Peacemaker kills a guard, and Ekamonos has to go in and be a guard into the barn, and he's questioned by Song's partner. He acts weird, saying he's going to go into the barn because of this bag, which works, as the butterflies are very odd as well. He sees the cow being milked and <laughs> runs away, because just like Starro, he's sick of kaijus, like we saw in the Suicide Squad. Now, the detective asks why Ekamonos dyed his beard like that, a callback to being called Dye Beard by Peacemaker. And, well, he explains that he couldn't get a girlfriend, he's lazy, and he thought it made him look younger and handsome. He finally admits that he dyed his beard and is caught leaving the helmet. And, well, Adebayo triggers the sonic boom to save him, which I really, really liked. And the cow starts to fall and the cave caves in. Now, they go in to kill the cow, and he has a shield, which is very much like Captain America. And James Gunn did make this show kind of as an inspiration by that old Captain America show where he's a bit of a douchebag, and it's from his childhood. This this shield here does reference that. Now, Vigilante is shot, and so is Harcourt as Adebayo goes in to help. And, well, she says she's made for this, which... She is. She's finally accepted who she is, and a butterfly flies by Harcourt, but Adebayo luckily stops it, and Ekamonos throws her the human torpedo helmet, which Peacemaker activates, and Goff finally tells Peacemaker the truth. Judo Master knew it, but didn't say it because he was stopped. The butterflies did what they did, 
because they wanted to save humanity, which I really, really like. It's a really interesting one. They, they came to Earth so that they could survive, but for 100 years, the, the humanity will actually go the same way as them because they looked to populist leaders and they wanted to stop everything. They wanted to save humanity. They took control of them, but, well, Peacemaker stops that because it, it's not free will and things like that. So with that in mind, Mern didn't want to do the same thing. He wanted people to have free will, but Peacemaker stops them and Goff, as Butterfly, is a lot deeper than we expected. However, the cow is defeated and the Justice League arrive, <laughs> says you're late, dickheads, and go F another fish. Uh, I absolutely love that as uh, Arthur Curry says that, well... I'm sick of that rumor, and the Flash is like, is, is that a rumor? So I really, really did like this, as Peacemaker said, did he just kill the whole world? No, he gave us free will, which is important. It's all about people, while, while obviously climate change is real, we have free will. We have to decide for ourselves, and it's, yeah, it's just the, the way it goes, but climate change is, is real. It is. <laughs> Adebayo then exposes Project Butterfly and her mother and Task Force X, which I did not expect. And we have Harcourt having a moment with Peacemaker and Ekamonos returns to Belle Reeve. So no doubt season two will follow everything that left the fallout. We will, of course, have Amanda Waller possibly trying to take out Peacemaker and Vigilante, which could lead to more people we've seen before. Overall, a superb season, superb show, a rare 10 out of 10 for me. I loved every single minute of it. John Cena is the true Doctor of Thugonomics. He is the king. He is great in this role. And James Gunn needs to do more DC because he just gets it. If we had a Zack Snyder world and a James Gunn world where kind of like the big godlike DC stuff was done by Zack Snyder, and then we had like the street level kind of funny guys by done by James Gunn. <laughs> oh, God, I'm getting chills of that. But overall, superb show. So let me know what you think in the comments. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Do you have any thoughts? I'll see you soon. Goodbye.